Hello everyone, I have a very highly requested video for you today and it is everything you want to know about my carry-on suitcase. So I posted a photo on Instagram of my travel bags and my travel hair dryer and tons of you asked me a bunch of questions. So firstly, I travel with a Remova suitcase. I've had it for a year now and it has traveled so well. It fits a ton of stuff, but first I'm going to show you my Anya Hindmarsh. A lot of you have been curious about my in-flight case and it's definitely one of the best purchases I ever made. I bought mine while I was in London, but you can purchase them through her website. This neon yellow color is sold out unfortunately, but there is a red one on sale and they do offer more traditional colors such as black. But here I keep most of my skincare and I change it up often. When I was in San Francisco, I had more full size skincare, but since I am going to Japan and I may have to empty this at airport security, it just depends on what airport you're at. I've had no problems at Heathrow, which is notoriously strict, but in San Francisco, one of the TSA agents gave me a hard time, but he didn't actually make me open up the contents and put it into a standard court size bag. So it just depends on the mood of the agent that day, it seems. Then we have my T3 compact folding hair dryer. This lightweight dryer is perfect for traveling because the handle folds down. I'll show you because it comes in this little pouch. I absolutely love how it keeps it safe and scratch free and it actually comes with a velcro tie to keep the cord nice and organized all you have to do is one two unlock the handle and turn it on that's about it so i just love this blow dryer because it actually has the mesh that goes inward instead of outward so not only does that save a little bit of space it actually prevents your hair from getting sucked in here and breaking which i've had happen multiple times in my life so i really really love this hair dryer because it's so useful and i feel like there's a lot of practical details that went into this so it doesn't have too short of a handle i don't want my fingers to feel like they are falling off the grip so I love that this is easy to hold especially when you're using a brush at the same time it really makes it a little bit easier to give yourself a blowout and last but not least we'll welcome the newest member to my travel family this is my Tumi makeup bag and it is in an eggplant purple color actually more like a royal eggplant and it has a top handle so I find this very useful and it does remind me of a Zuka pouch but it's much more organized these days I do pack a lot lighter than I ever have before so this is my official makeup bag now because my makeup is fairly similar when I travel I still wear Tom Ford eyeshadow I still wear glossy lips I wanted to share with you how I style my hair when I'm on trips because a lot of times I only have enough space to pack one hair tool. And these days, instead of curling my hair, I've been obsessed with perfecting how to give myself the perfect blowout. And it looks so simple, it looks like it would be easy to achieve, but it's actually really hard and so it requires time and patience and effort. So I've been practicing almost every time I wash my hair and I think it's made such a big difference in how I perceive my everyday hair. It's not frizzy, it's not tangled, it's just so much more manageable and it looks nice and it gives me a confidence boost. So I hope that this tutorial on my travel hair look as well as my my blow drying tips will encourage you to give blow drying at home a try. Now without any further ado, let's get started. So here is a little bit more. Cute little flush mount light and a closet with an acrylic doorknob. Love those details. And I haven't even hung up any of my clothes yet because I literally just got a heater. Lamp, king size bed my luggage and my handbag which i like i said haven't unpacked and it's a really cute room i think it's perfect for the night stay and here we are in the bathroom okay so let me get my things together and i'll show you what i brought so i turned the light in the bathroom on much better right so i stacked my products here 
first my hairbrush, my Tangle Teaser. I don't like to bring my Mason hairbrush, hairbrush sometimes because I'm afraid of losing it. And then I packed my Beauty Blenders, the little egg for concealer, and then the black one. Oh my gosh, I really need a manicure. <laughs> I've been moving and it's been really stressful. I haven't even had time to do my nails. So anyway, then we have my favorite velour lashes, Rich and Fluffy, so amazing. My Shiomara eyelash curlers and some masks. Love the SK2 and Salwasu for when I travel. Then we have my hair dryer. I always carry hair tools and I love this one. It's a mini T3 blow dryer. It's so convenient because it fits in either my duffel or my suitcase. I love how lightweight it is. So I have to have this because my hair gets really, really frizzy when it's dry. So I absolutely need a blow dryer at all times. A good one. <laughs> then we have my Chumi makeup bag. And I'm going to show you the contents of this one another time. And then of course all my skincare and mini size travel products are in my Anya Hinmarsh in flight case and I actually have all skincare in here this time around since it was a short flight I figured I might as well stuff it so yeah that's a quick view of what I brought on this really fast trip with me but yes I will show you now how to use this t3 hair dryer so now that my hair is damp I'm just going to release it and here is my handy dandy tangle teaser this is a really affordable hairbrush and you can use it without damaging your hair, wet or dry. Now that my hair has been thoroughly brushed and it's nice and smooth, I can run my hand through it. I'm going to apply my heat protectant and this is by Kerastras. It's a little mini travel size. I usually use the pink one for color treated hair or the green one for brittle hair, but this one is great if you have frizzy hair, which I have been more prone to than usual because of the summer heat. So I have been loving this. Then I'm going to part my hair and this is absolutely essential. If you don't have a hair clip or some kind of method in which to split your hair, you absolutely need to find a way because otherwise it's really difficult to blow dry, even short hair. And now I'm going to take my awesome T3 lightweight compact folding hair dryer. As you can see, it's very compact. So you just pop it up very easily and then I'm going to turn it on and show you how I blow dry my hair. I always use the highest heat setting and roll the brush away from my face for best results. Once you've released the hair, I like to give it a quick twirl with my finger and that way it creates more of a soft, loose, bouncy blow dry as opposed to a really flat, straight, and kind of uneven looking one. If your hair dries quickly and it's more damp than wet, just run your barrel brush through it and then start by wrapping your hair at the top here, as close to the scalp as you're comfortable with, and turn the dryer on. For the smoothest blow dry possible, focus on drying the roots of your hair first. Push the nozzle against the brush and pull down, rotating the brush half a turn as you reach the ends of your hair. You'll have to dry the section at least two or three times if you have medium to long hair as I do, but most of the time I go back and give it a fourth run just so I know that the style sets the way I want it to. So now I'm going to show you how it works on my right side and your viewing left. Essentially, it's the same process as curling your hair away from the face with the Body Waver or the Twirl 360. Although I will admit learning to hold the dryer in my left hand was the most challenging part of the process, but that's why the Featherweight Compact Folding Dryer has been such an indispensable learning tool. The most important thing about doing your own blowout is that you have a lightweight hair dryer. I used to have a really heavy hair dryer. It was super powerful, but it was just really heavy. My arms were too tired. So these T3 blow dryers are a lifesaver if you don't have strong arms or if you simply have a lot of hair to blow dry. If you're prone to flat hair like I am, the key is to keep the round brush as close to the scalp as possible while pulling straight up. Pull through steadily and smoothly to prevent kinks. Even though your first run through may not be really smooth, that's okay. Just go back again and try to run the dryer and the brush simultaneously as smoothly as you can. Try to keep the brush and nozzle as close together as possible. Roll the brush forward and back, only pulling down towards the ends as you roll backwards. This will prevent damaging the ends of your hair and prevent split ends as well. Now we're going to move on to my favorite part, the bangs. I usually wear my part on the left side, as you guys know, but you can also move the hair over from the right side 
and create a different look. I like to pull the bangs down and forward, rolling and releasing to one side for a sweeping look. It's all in the turn of your wrist, so keep on practicing. And that completes my travel hair look, and I just find that, you know, it's not overdone, but it's still polished, and it lasts for at least two days, so my hair doesn't look frizzy, or like I just rolled up out of bed, so I love the way this hair look came together. And definitely feel free to let me know in the comments if you guys would like some more blow drying tips. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone, and I'll see y'all very soon. Bye!